YouTube. Back as promised, it was quick so I can hurry up and take a shower with the gym. So basically, this is my hat collection. And on top of the hat collection, I'm gonna put the differences inside. And I could probably be a little bit quicker with the hats opposed to the jerseys, because the hats are just accessory to me. Now, <clears throat> real quick, uh, this hat thing is getting crazier and crazier by me. I've been into hats since a kid. Like, I've learned about, uh, I think, when Snapbacks first, I don't know if they first released, but when they were first popular it was in the 90s, when I was a kid, um, I wore them because I wore them. Like, uh, it was a group called Another Bad Creation, ABC. They made me like snapbacks in a sense, like, they used to wear the snapbacks. Uh, I'll show this one. See how this has the, the tag still attached to it? They used to wear the snapbacks like that with the tag still attached. So every time my dad or my mom or anybody would buy me a hat, I like, don't take the tag off. I want to wear it like that. And of course, parents will think kids are crazy just like i think my daughter's crazy now and this new generation stuff they're into like why the hell would you be tagging like you know school girls so fast forward a few years so maybe like 96 97 around that time this is when mace came out right i just noticed he was wearing like yankee hats right and i never knew i didn't know players and i think i was i was young i had to be like maybe like seven eight around that age or some shit so i didn't I don't keep up with that type of stuff. I'm a kid, right? Uh, sneakers, that's another story. But with the hat, he was wearing Yankee hat. I never knew what the Yankees was because I didn't pay attention to baseball. Like, I only knew about Chicago Bulls. So, I'm like, I like the logo, but then I seen him wear the hat backwards. And I had never seen a hat that didn't have the snap on the back. Like, it was just closed. I'm like, what the hell kind of hat is that? Like, I always wanted that. I could never find it, right? So, he wore this one Yankee hat, and it had the actual, like, their logo, not the NY, the other logo where it says Yankee with the uh, the hat and the uh, baseball in the background with the with the bat. I had never seen that. I was like, whoa, what the hell is that? So I think I begged my mom, my dad, my aunts, my grandma, I mean, my uh, godmom, everybody, to give me this hat. They didn't even know what the hat was because back then, fittings were not as popular, at least in, uh, like, a global sense like the rappers and stuff might have been wearing them and like people from new york but overall around the world around the country nobody was really wearing fittings like that back then everybody was wearing snapbacks and nobody really knew about fittings like that so that was my introduction to fittings i end up getting one i just don't know when i, I know it was a couple years later and then that's when i found out about sizing because you know with snapbacks you can adjust your sizing like this is a snapback i can adjust it from the three to the four, like you can adjust it to to fit your head, but with fitted shoe, have to literally find out what your size is. Like you find out what your shoe size is, which like it just mind boggled me. And I don't know where or how I got to have it. And we had a hat. I don't know, it was too big, too small. I don't know, but I was just happy to have a fitted hat. And I didn't even know it was called fitted. I just thought it was called a hat. I don't know. So that's how I got into hats. And then we already know my love for the uh, pinwheel hats from the early 2000s, which I have two finally. But it's, I mean, I just got them just to get them because it's dirt cheap, but it's not the ones I really wanted. So let's get into these hats because I'm going to keep rambling. Right, I'm going to show these. Now, I don't know when this shit happened, but a few years ago, dad's hats became popular. These didn't even have names at the time. I don't know where the dad hat name came from, but they were never called dad hats. But... They call them dad hats now to different, different, I do not know why I can't say this word, to make, so you can know the differences from other hats. This is a snapback, you have fitteds, now you have dad hats. So now they have a name. Now this one, this is my cousin's company, but I think he changed his name again. I, he had a name before this, I, I, I forgot what the hell the name was. Well, it might have been called Pure Drip, I don't know, I think he just changed the logoing. But now it's a different name. But this was when he first was like making them. I had a blue one, but I gave it to my brother. This, is, I haven't even worn this one yet. I don't know. This is technically not a dad hat. just look like a dad hat. I don't know what they call these hats. Does it have a name in it? 
It doesn't say. But this hat wasn't cheap. I think I paid like $50 for this hat. And I got this hat because it literally goes with the sneaker I got. I got a, uh, I think it's an Air Max Lite too. And it, look, it looks exactly like this. I was trying to get the shirt. The shirt cost entirely too much. Believe it or not, when this hat first came out, it had resale value. I paid retail for it, which is $50. But they sold out on every dot com, every store that had them. I literally had to get this at a sneaker show. And I got the hat before I got the sneakers. And now the hat goes for nothing. And the sneakers goes for nothing. So if I had waited, I could have got it for dirt cheap. This one is the Rugrats. I got just to match some pair of ASIC sneakers I got. And believe it or not, damn, this one looks broke. Oh, no, it's not broke. Uh, believe it or not, at one point, dad hats were expensive. Like, depending on the hat you get. Like, I have another one. I don't know where the fuck is that. It's basically the TV show Boy Meets World. It has the logo on it. Like, I, I mean, I watched the show as a kid. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But that hat, when I saw it, it was mean. so mean that when I went to go buy it off the site, it was sold out. So the guy was like, I emailed him, like, are y'all restocking this hat? And he was like, nah, but I can make it. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he personally made that hat for me. Like, he told me, like, he can make any hat that he has on his website or he had on his website. He can make it from scratch right then and there. Granted, I paid, like, an extra $5 for the hat. I think it was 30 I paid an extra $35. Like, his hats are amazing. I just wish a lot of his dad hats were converted to snapbacks or fitted. And now, you know, with this fitted uh, extravaganza bullshit going on with the side patches and stuff, he makes fitteds now, and they're too too expensive. He bought 110 I'm not paying that for I don't care what type of hat it is. I'm not paying that much for a hat. Now, this one I never wore neither. I got this one cheap. I got it for like five dollars from uh five below because I had the uh excuse me the Air Jordan one uh what were they called? Like what's a hyper crimson or some crimson tent, I think that's what it's called. The bl the black and pink joints. Like I got this hat to match it and I have a, the actual shirt to match with it, but I end up selling the shoes because I'm sorry, like I love the shoe, but four hundred dollars and I only paid one ten for them. I'm sorry, I, like I, I became resale at that point. So if I find the shoe, I said I'm not going to wear this, and I'm going to get the shoe back or a shoe like close to it. But until then, this hat won't get worn. Now this one, I only put this up here at, to show y'all a difference. This is the hats I hate. Now, I, these are Mitchell and Ness snapbacks. They make the worst snapbacks known to man. I just love their logoing. They have the best logos. They have the best like side patches. They only put their their name on the back, majority of them. But their fitteds from back in the early 2000s, I loved them. Especially the uh, football ones with the football. I love football helmet hats. I don't know why. Like I have one, but that one is because that's the, that's their team logo. But back in the day, uh, I told you the pinball hats. They used to have. The football team, they would have the actual helmet on there. And a lot of people don't make them anymore. And Michelin Ness used to make fitters of which their fitters back in the day was cool. But these snapbacks are hideous. They, they fit like trucker hats. And I bought this out because I'm giving this to my nephew. I gave him all my other Michelin Ness snapbacks. Like, I will always get Michelin Ness snapbacks just because of the logo. Like, this logo is dope. Yeah, if anybody don't know, this is the Seattle Supersonics. This is the S from the beginning of the Sonics on the jersey. Now... This is not their actual like logo. They have the actual logo, but I was about to buy that. But I seen this one. I'm like, yo, this go right with my jersey, the green one. But I was just sucking up wearing it because it matched. I'm like, yo, the way this hat fit is just horrible. I'm gonna show y'all. Now you see, this is a new era. When you see how it has that like that round and the brim. See the brim is round. Look at this. It's square. I don't understand that shit. And like this kind of molds to your head, and they call this the crown. Or it is the crown. Like, or like, I'm learning as I go along. I call this the front crown or whatever. Front of the crown, whatever. You see how it goes down, like round? I like that. This shit, it's like a box. Like, I don't get that. Like, it's ugh. like they make these hats where I don't know if, like, it's a licensing issue. Like, New Era is the only one can, like, make their hats like this. Or they just make their hats like this. I don't get it. But when you wear it, I hate the way it looks. Like, it's shaped like a box. And even if I, like, bend this broom. It still fits funny. And then sometimes I wear my hat backwards. Right? I don't like how this goes up. Like, and if I turn it this way, like, it just looks weird. Like, it just fits funny. And I'll put this one on. 
it fits way better. Like, it's rounded. This shit is like a box. I don't get it. Like, it just looks weird. And this is actually one of the better ones. All the other ones are hideous. I just wanted to show you all the differences before I give him that hat. I told him, like, I will give him the hat after I do this video. So toss that over there. Now, let's get into my actual hats. Like, I have some of them sectioned off with different brands and stuff. But some of them, I just got tired of just trying to separate them. So, these are more so my older hats. Ugh. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the oldest hat I have. This, I, don't, I think, yeah, this is made by New Era. Uh, as you can see, this is the city I'm from. And this logo is actually the high school logo here. It's the Chester High School Clippers. I never knew Clippers was for like a, a pirates or whatever. I learned that in high school. But when I think of Clippers, I'm thinking about going to the barbershop or whatever. But it is what it is. And at one point, the store we used to have uh, in my city had a deal with New Era where they can produce some hats. And they used to, before they produced these hats, they used to just have like regular New Era fitted hats that said Chester and Cursive. I had a couple of those, but when I got done with them, I gave them to my cousin. I haven't seen them ever since. I wish I kept them because I'm never going to find them again. Excuse me. And then like as time went on, they started making these hats. And this was the only store that sold them. Nobody else sold them. I had this one, and I had a. I wish I kept the other one. I gave it to my bro, my nephew, no, my brother, nephew, to my cousin as a payment. He did something for me, and I didn't feel like paying money, so I gave him the hat because he kept asking for it. But it was the whole hat was baby blue, the under brim or the UV, what they call them, under visor, uh, was pink. The little pin on top was pink, and the the, the bolt was white, but the outline it was pink and baby blue. Like I missed the shit. I had. I'm so pissed. I get, I gave it to him because he doesn't even have the hat anymore. Like a lot of people are careless. I've had this hat since maybe 2000, 2001. I don't know, but this hat is old as shit. And this is why I'm gonna show you why people don't like white. Uh, I forgot what they call them. Basically, this right here. I think they call them sweatbands. They, I'm going to show you why people don't like white ones. See that? That's all old ass sweat from years. I haven't worn this hat in years. I probably never wear it. I'm just keeping it as a keepsake because this is a size 8 back then. We used to wear our hats big. I wear like a 7, 7, 3, 4, 7, 5, 8. So I may wear a smaller size than that. Like if I wanted to fit snug. But my actual size is a 7, 3, 4. Let's see how big this hat is. See how big it is? Like, this is just too big. Like, I, I need my hat to be like that, to fit. So, I just keep this around just to keep, like, I'm, I'll probably never catch myself wearing it again. This one is old, too. I got this around the same time as that hat. I, I don't even know why I still have it. I forgot I had it. Damn, this is, Jesus Christ. This is an 818. I didn't even know they made hats past 8. How big is this shit? This hat actually fits way better than that one. I think that's because I sweated the shit out. Like, if you sweat your hats out enough, they will shrink because of the materials. I might have washed this. I don't know. But even an underbrim got sweat on it. Like, this hat is super old. This is, like, another early 2000s. This is another Seattle Supersonics. Believe it or not, that fake knockoff yellow jersey I showed y'all when I had it as a kid, this is the hat I bought for it because I could never find an all yellow. I'm, like, very stickler for matching. Like, I like to have the same color of the jersey on the hat so this this is why this hat barely got worn with that jersey because i was pissed that i couldn't find an all yellow one or the yellow one. back then because they had the pinwheels I, I wanted to find one that was like white yellow on the side or <clears throat> yellow in the front and green on the side or white but i could never find this was the only one i could find because back then just like now the bigger hats were like super sought after for any hat so I have a big ass head. So that's my actual size. But a lot of people would get the hats and wear them oversized. Why I don't know. But every time I would go to like, it's a store we used to have called Total Sport and like Lids. But Total Sport was like the the, the main store. Kind of how I told you about that hat I just showed you, the Chester hat. How I owned this one store, had all these hats that I wanted, the Chester ones. Total Sport, they had two locations. They had one in the Gallery Mall in Philly and they had one on South Street in Philly. That was the only place you can go to get these custom 
patch. And I'm finding out now that a lot of these stores have like deals with brands, mostly New Era, to make their own custom hats where you only can get them from these stores. So these two stores used to have these hats I cry about all the damn time. And once they sell out or that size sell out, they don't restock them because it's not like a sneaker or what a, a jersey or something. They keep reproducing them. Since it's a custom hat for one brand, you only going to get it at this one store. And once they're gone, they're gone. So every time I try to get a hat that I wanted, I never could get my size. Or I like could never get a hat that fit because they all be gone. Like soon they'll like say they released a the hat today. That should be gone. The hat won't be gone necessarily, but the sizes that I need would be gone within two hours. And that always used to happen. Now, <clears throat> these are the hats I'm actually talking about. These are the pinwheel hats. This is not necessarily the pinwheel hats I wanted, but these are the one, only ones I could find that were like kind of in the price range I'm willing to pay because they don't make these hats no more. So with that being said, they're not even sought after. Nobody wants them. So I'm not paying more than $15 or $20 to, for these hats. And you know, hats are like $50 now, which is crazy. Back then when these hats were popular, when they first released, the most you were spending on a hat was $25. Back then, they should have been charging 50 to be honest with you, because that's, the hats was way more sought after than it is now. But, you know, the fitted hat thing come and then inflation and all this other shit and the price of living going up, that's why the hat's so expensive. So this is what I meant. I don't really, the thing I don't like about this hat is this blue strip in the middle. I don't like that, but this is what I meant. This is a pinwheel hat. Like, it's one color right here, one color right here, and then... The size are two different colors, but they will mix and match them all the time. Like this could be red, just like this one. This is a perfect example. See how this is purple, and these two sides are red, but it's white on the back. But this one <clears throat> is red in the front, red in the back, and the two sides are blue. Like they can mix and match it. They can do it like this, or they can reverse it. The white will be on front, and then the purple will be in the back. Or <clears throat> it'll be just like this. This could be blue. This could be white. Like, they just mix and match them. But the ones I'm like really like obsessed with is the ones that have the actual like, see how this has sixers on the back? This would be on the front, but they have like the NBA logo over here. Well, the New Era logo over here. And they have like a side patch. It could be this, it could be this. And sometimes like, cause the, the basketball ones was the, was the most popular ones. They will have the conference on the side, either Eastern Conference or the Western Conference. I just love those hats. Sometimes it'll be on front. Sometimes it will have that, and then I have like the NBA champion logo on the side, or I have like the 50th anniversary. Like, like those side patches were to me were way more desirable. No ones now because a lot of times now I think they just make up these side patches, like because it's so sought after. Let's see. I never even tried these shits on. These are my actual size. Not because back then I used to wear the eight, which was too big. See, I like this, but it's like I could get a little bit smaller because I told you sometimes I wear my hat backwards and I like it to really like fit. It's cool, but I want it like a little bit tighter. So maybe I'll go down the side. I don't know what size that would be. And I, I didn't plan on like trying these hats on in the video, but I said I might as well since I never put them on. And I'm going, I'm going to stock up crazy on these hats because nobody's wearing them. So, and like everybody in my, like I'm in a hat club too on uh, Facebook. Everybody makes fun of me because I'm the only one who's crying over these hats. Like, oh, leave those hats in the past. Nobody wants them. But my thing is like everything's coming back around, and it keeps happening every year. Like. These fitted hats is everybody obsessed with? At one point, nobody was wearing fitted. Let's remember, uh, what is this, 2021? Maybe two, three years ago, everybody was wearing snapbacks. Like, you go to every store, all you're seeing is snapbacks. You're not seeing fitted. Like, you'll see, the only fitted you would see are the standard fitted that uh, the NBA, not NBA, the MLB players are wearing. Like, you're not seeing these custom hats that they're putting out now. Like, they just started becoming more popular to me last year because my homie put me on to it. He, um, I wasn't paying him no mind, but the guy, uh, T-Mark got kicks on uh, Instagram. Y'all probably know him because he was like, he like had the best Kyrie Irving sneaker collection, posted the rest of his collection. He started making Yankee hats with all these side patches. Like it would be the World Series, the All-Star, but then he started putting like, like famous New York figures on there. Like he'll have Nas, 
Big Pond, Dipset, uh, uh, what was it? it? It wasn't just that. He had movies like New Jack City, like a lot of stuff New York oriented. He had a side patch of it, but he'd be go charging like, uh, he's still doing it to this day. It'd be like $100. I'm not paying $100 for no hat. And then the crazy thing, people are going nuts for these hats because they sell out. And like a lot of them, they're not different colors. They're just regular general navy Yankee hats. They just have different side patches. Like my homie, the one I'm talking about, he got at least 20 Yankee hats. It's the same damn color. It's just a different side patch. And I'm not that guy. I don't like to buy multiples of the same hat. Like, I just need one. If I like to have enough, maybe I'll get two, which is rare. Like, I don't want, like, five different uh, Philadelphia Phillies burgundy hat. I have one more, but the logo is different. And I don't need no more. I'm not buying another one. So let's keep going. Show these together. Damn, I got three. I got these hats made, like, maybe five, five six years ago. I had another one. Uh, it was no, I had two more. I had an all black one I gave it to my nephew, and then I had a black and yellow one. My brother actually barked it off me because I was like, at one point, this was supposed to steal my company because I have the I can see I have the chain made. Y'all yeah, probably see me worried, but I never talk about it. But uh, it was a it's a company I started, and I never like went through with the actual like clothing company because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that happened. But every like. We'll get into later, but point blank period, I just be wearing the hats, and I always, I never got the hat made with the finishing product of my logo. This is that my actual logo that I got like rendered and I got made and uh, patented and stuff. So this was before the logo was actually made. So I just never went back to get the actual like uh, <clears throat> hats made or shirts made with the logo. That's actually in the process right now. So I just don't want to talk about it because every time I talk about it, nothing ever happens of it. And this is the only one that I really will wear with anything. These ones I just wear to wear. So, and I don't know who this brand is. I don't snap. I don't, I got these from Lids. I got them made from Lids and they provided the hats for me. Or did I get the hat? No, I might have got the hats from a flea market or something. Out. I don't remember. But the next ones, when I get them made, they will have like, you know, nor there'll be a new era hats or whatever. They're just more expensive. And this is another pinwheel. That this is from actually like 2000, the early 2000s. But this is, uh, I believe this is Reebok. They have got stains on what the fuck? Yeah, this is a Reebok fitted hat. Uh, this, these came out when the pinwheel hats were starting to die out. Nobody was really wearing them no more. These became super duper popular because nobody was really wearing Reeboks. Fitted is always new air. So I had like, four of them but i don't i probably threw the rest out this was the only one i kept because i was supposed to get a clippers jersey i never got one and i'm about to get one soon because they're gonna go for nothing but now i don't need now i'm getting jersey i don't have a hat because i i'm not wearing this hat this hat is just a keepsake i don't think this is from like bigger shit i only wore it like one time back in the day see how big that hat is that's how they used to wear them back in the day like they nobody will buy the, <laughs> this shit look crazy nobody will buy their actual size like look how it look when you put it backwards look at all that goddamn space that is crazy like i would want it like that it still looks crazy it looks like a circus hat this now this is one i can understand like they don't need to make these ever again okay now we can get into some of the good stuff <clears throat> There's a lot of hats, so this video is going to be kind of long. Ooh, and crazy, it would have been more hats had I never gave any away. This one, I think this is a little knockoff. I paid like five dollars for this. I think I got this from a fucking flea market. I only got it because this is my favorite football team, and it's so hard to find Carolina Panther hats. And when I do, they like bullshit. Like, believe it or not, certain teams they don't really produce good hats for them, and this is one of them. Like. The colorway, they have the perfect color to make great hats, but I've never seen a good Carolina Panthers hat. It's just generic, and this is exactly what it looks like. So this, I just wore this to the gym. Like, I beat this up in the gym. Like, this is nothing special. This is another team they do that shit to. This is the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I literally only got this hat to match with the, uh, the jersey because I can't find no good Tampa Bay Buccaneer hats. This is not a desired hat for me because I don't like the script hats, like, 
and it's a snapback and it's a new era, which is crazy because this is the this is usually the font you would see on the um the Mitchell Ness snapbacks. But I seen another one where though uh it has the actual logo on the front, but again, don't have my size because they don't have snapbacks of it, they only have the fitted of it. So I may not wear this, I don't know. This is just here until and unless and unless I don't find another good hat. If not, I'm just gonna be sucking up and wear this. But I don't wanna wear that. I don't like wearing football jerseys without hats. Like that's not my thing. Now this is the hat I was talking about with the football logo, the helmet, the uh Cleveland Browns. I'm not a fan of Cleveland Browns. I just like their logo because I love I told you I love helmet hats. And this is their actual logo. So this is why this is on here, but I like the ones from back in the day. They were pinwheels. And they would have like football uh, teams, but instead of having their logo, they would have their helmet on there. I can't find them no more. And that's what the only ones that had them that I found was the Michelin Ness hats, but they never had my size. And that's when Michelin hats was actually good. Okay. Uh, Boston Celtics. This is for whenever I get the Boston Celtics white warm up. And plus, I, I like white hats. A lot of people don't like them. But they have to be made right. And I like this. Like, it's simple, but it's dope at the same time. Like, I don't like an all-white hat with just with the white brim like this uh, snipe hat y'all saw. I don't really like that hat because it, the brim is white. I like it. I like white hats when they have different colored brims. Los Angeles Lakers snapback. I got this to match with the, uh, who is it? I forgot the name. Shaq jersey I got. But this is not even the right yellow, which I'm pissed. Like, Believe it or not, I'm not a Lakers fan. Believe it or not, it is extremely hard to find a yellow, a good yellow Lakers hat. I found, I think, finally, because they're starting to make them. But a lot of the good ones I saw were Mitchell and that snapbacks, which I'm not, I don't care how bad I want to add to match my jersey. And it looks just like it has everything I want, but it's a Mitchell and that hat. I'm not, I'm not sacrificing that because those hats just fit horrible. It's that bad. <clears throat> this is a simple uh, 76ers hat. Believe it or not, they make a lot of 76ers hats, but they're just so boring. Like, I don't, I mean, I like their logo, but another thing I'm a stickler for is the sizing of the logo. This is the right size for me. If this was two sizes bigger, I would, like, this is pushing it. This is really pushing it. Because, granted, believe it or not, they have, other versions of this hat where this logo is smaller. I had no idea. So I'm so cheap that I'm willing to keep wearing this hat because I paid for it. And I actually got a discount for my nephew because it's from his store. But I, I was like, yo, they actually have this hat with a smaller logo. And I don't want to, I told you, I don't like having multiples of the same hat. And I, one thing I'm tired of doing is buying all this stuff and I don't wear it or I wear it here and there. And then I give it away because I don't have the energy to sell it. And I'm tired of giving away tons of money basically to people that don't even care so this is the match them there anything chicago Bo uh, chicago bulls anything uh 76 ers related my warm-ups my jerseys i have so much blue shit from the 76ers i now i may get another blue uh 76 hat though because i it's only so many times i'm, I'm gonna wear this and get tired of seeing this logo this is the uh all money in tcm uh the marathon continues hat, the uh, Nipsey Hussle hat. I got this around the time. Like, believe it or not, I've been trying to get his clothes and his his hats before he passed away. God rest his soul. Like, I was so obsessed with the Crenshaw shirts because I grew up on the Boys in the Hood movie. And that's where I watched his documentary. That's where he got the idea for the shirt from the shirt that uh, Trooper Gooden Jr. and Trey was wearing. It said, it's just basically with a black, black shirt. It said Crenshaw and Gray. I always wanted that shirt, but I wanted it like to say Chester, basically. But I didn't have the energy to make them, so I said I don't have no problem wearing Crenshaw. And then he started making like tons of different colors of them. And then when I'm finally trying to go get the shirt, the unthinkable happened. So I got the next best thing was the hat. And I know I'm obsessed with hat. And like I wore this shit so much, like it's like almost can't be like you can, you can still wear it, but it's it's not. I wouldn't wear it because I destroyed it basically. Now these are some snapbacks I just got into. Believe it or not, I think this was the first one. Let me make sure. Yeah, this was my first one. 
No, this was the first one. This was the first one. I showed y'all in the video. Uh, it's basically a company called 22. Somebody, uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, I think his name Wavy. What? what damn. Like, y'all know who I'm talking about if you watch uh, YouTube videos. It, I know it's Wavy in his name. He's from New York. He's funny as hell. He always adds in like 90 classic movies with his videos. But he always pronounced it 22 2 or something like that. But like, literally, I've read the logo because he, he be throwing me off and saying, like, Is it really like 22 2 or 2022 or some shit like that? But then I read the logo. No, it's literally just 22. It's just the way they spell it. Unless this 2X stands for 22. Yo, that shit is crazy. But anyway, I just pronounce them as 22. So, uh, this was the first one I had. Basically, what they do is they take like uh, a city and they take like mostly the, the sports teams they have and they mash it all together into one logo. So, they actually made this logo up. It has the Atlanta Hawks. I still don't know what the T is from. Maybe that's from the. the uh, no, Atlanta Braves. I'm sorry, that's the baseball team. But that team may be from the Atlanta Hawks. I'm not sure. Or they have, or the Atlanta. Uh, damn, what's they called? The Atlanta Falcons. I'm not sure. That might be it. But I don't know. But the, the other two logos, the L and the A, is from the Atlanta Braves, and they put the their own side patches on it, and it's related to that city. So I told y'all, this one is the bridge somewhere in Atlanta. And it says home of the strip clubs because they're known for Magic City. Is it Magic City? Yeah, I believe it's Magic City. Yeah, I'm thinking about King of Diamonds. That's Miami. Uh, and then Atlanta is known as the Peach State. And that's their area code, I believe. So that's one. And all of these are from that company. And I seen this one. I fell in love with it. This is the uh, Chicago Bulls. Plus it has the Tar Heels. Even though I know the Tar Heels are not from uh, Chicago. It's North Carolina. But this is based on Michael Jordan, basically. The only thing I don't like about this hat is this side patch. This bitch is too big. Like, it's so oversized. So, I don't wear this as much. And plus, on the back, it says 22, but it has the Air Jordan 1 logo on it. And I love this, this side patch. What does this say? I never read it, to be honest with you. It says Chicago, the Windy City, 2014. I don't, I guess it's when they were established, but they play it off, well, excuse me, patches from back in the 90s. Now, the one thing I don't like about their hats is they have that Mitchell and Ness bullshit going on. The crown is, like, super boxy. I hate it. But the, the only thing that's saving these hats is the way they fit. They fit way better than a Mitchell and Ness hat. And the back matches up with the front on a Mitchell and Ness hat. This will be like this. It just looks it looks like a fucking triangle, like you're going up a hill or some shit. So that's the only reason that's the only reason I still buy these hats. Cause if if it wasn't for that, I don't care how dope these hats look. I'm not buying them because I'm not gonna wear them. And they're like forty dollars. I'm not paying forty dollars for some shit I'm not gonna wear. This was the one I kept trying to get, but I kept like missing their restock. And they, there they go with the uh this is what I was talking about, like when I was a kid back in the nineties, uh, another back in the creation used to wear hats. That's how I used to wear it. You can leave that swinging on the hat and shit, but I don't really like it these days. If I liked it, I would have kept it. I don't, I don't not wear it because everybody else say something. But again, they kill it with the side patches. This one is based on Miami. Uh, they have the Miami Heat logo. Then they have the Florida Marlins logo right there, and that ring you see around it, that the sun ring, that's based off the uh, Miami Dolphins. See, like, like you would think this is a regular logo for one team. Like, they literally matched all the teams into one logo, and the logo is dope. The side patch says 22 Miami, Florida. This one says 305 Miami. I think on my back, it just says Miami and a Miami Vice font. Oh, yeah, and their under visor people are, like, are so obsessed with under visors now. They call them UVs or under rim, whatever. This one is suede. And I think they was the first one doing that from what I was told. Like, but they just made it. <laughs> it's kind of boxy, but it got the roundness to it. I don't know how they did it, but they just made it. Like, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> they they pushing the line with that Mitchell and Ness bullshit. But from what I'm told or heard, they I don't know if they make these hats completely themselves. But every a lot of this shit is in-house. So that's probably the reason why the hats were made a certain way. 
Uh, so what else? Something else. Oh, I'm talking about the undervisor. Like, everybody's obsessed with these different color undervisors where the, like, the pink ones became popular. This is how it all started. And now they have, like, different color ones. The reason I don't care about undervisors because you can't see it when you're wearing it like this. Like, you only see it when you put your head up. But back in the day, undervisors I was obsessed with because, let's say, this is pink, right? It would overlap the the brim so when you wear it you will see like a little line of the bottom on the top but they don't do that anymore i don't know why now these two had just popped up and i fell in love with them basically this is uh, if you can tell the one half is new york uh, yankees the other half is new york mets this orange one oh my god i got this to go with uh, um, eric highs these are actual uh, side patches that are on uh, NBA, NBA, MLB actual hats. Uh, this one's a Subway Series, New York, <laughs> New York F and City. Uh, what did that say? What was it, 22? 22 is the new, the new what? I guess the new New York F and City. I don't know. But it's basically a real logo. They just put their spin on it. And this one says City Series. This is based off World Series patch. Because uh, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they do this because I don't think they have any, like, partnership or any type of contracts with these teams to actually produce their hats. And if they was to produce these hats on their own and sell them, they can get sued. So that's what I'm assuming Cause that's what I, a lot of a lot of times I see people do. This is why it says City Series instead of World Series, and like have a little stuff on it. So if like they try to sue them or something, you, what you gonna sue me for? Like this is my own logo. And it could look like yours, but it's not that. And the green one, they had a red one, they had a blue one, but I have so many red and blue hats that I didn't want to get it. But it was don't don't get it twisted. It was dope. The undervisor is gray. Now this is the one I was telling you about. I have the other burgundy hat. See, this is the other one I told you I could wear. And I don't have to wear that one. Granted, I'm not going to lie to you. This hat is a little, it is a little boxy. I think I wore... I might have wore this one already. I'm not sure. See, it's just, it's just pushing it. It's just pushing it. I'm telling you, like... But... That's another thing I say. Their hats are way doper than uh, Michelin S. That's why Michelin S don't get away with a lot of shit. But <clears throat> this is based on all the Philly teams. The P, of course, is for the Phillies. The H, I is for the Eagles. And the ball with the stars is based on the Sixers. In the back, anybody eats cream cheese, they know what that's based off of. That is based off the Philadelphia cream cheese. And it has it actually says two one five. That's their area code. Twenty two classic Philadelphia. This is the Liberty Bell. And I don't know what this one's based on. It looks like a cheesesteak place. Uh, it says two one five City of Brotherly Love. Twenty two marks the spot. And on the bottom, on undervisor, it actually has the Love logo, which is from the Love Park in Philadelphia. It's a bad statue that looks like this. And this red one, well, basically the color schemes are based off the Phillies. This one is based off the one I'm wearing right now. This is based off the new, uh, what's it called? The new Phillies logo and team or whatever. I haven't, wore, I don't think I wore, no, I haven't wore this one yet. I never even tried it on. If you still see the tags on these, I haven't worn them. Because, like, honestly, I was trying to wait until I made this video, but I waited so long that I got tired of waiting and I just started wearing some of them. Yeah, I wore all of it. Yeah, everything that don't have a tag on it, <laughs> I wore it. Now, let's get to the last of this so I can wrap this shit up. This shit is actually longer <laughs> than a fucking jersey video, which is crazy. This is the stuff that everybody really wants to see. This is the uh, New York Mets white snapback. I got this to match my uh, New York mix jersey. I had another jer another hat. I actually had got the hat before the jersey. I knew I was getting a jersey one way or another. But I got rid of the hat because it's a Michelin that snapped back. And the logo was so big. It was fucking huge. It was like that fucking big. But 
I got over it because I just needed a hat to match with. And I told finding white hats to match these 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 jerseys is freaking impossible. It's like every jersey I have, the hat to like really coincide with it is so hard to find, which is crazy. Now this clearly is not a Knicks hat. It's a Mets hat, but it's New York. So that's the only option that I do. Like if I get like, I don't know, let's say a Houston. Let's say I get a Houston, uh, Houston Rockets jersey, right? I can't find a Houston Rockets hat. The next best thing I get is something Houston related. Like Houston, uh, let's say I find a Houston Astros hat and it has all the colors that are based upon the Houston Rockets. I'm going to get that because it's Houston related. Granted, it's not the same team, but they're both based in Houston. So that's the next best thing I'll do. Like, but I'm not going to be sitting here wearing a Knicks jersey and wearing like a LA Lakers hat because it it has blue and yellow in it, or blue and uh blue and orange in it, but it's LA. It just don't make sense to me. I'm that picky. This is very old. Uh, this is the Florida, Florida Marlins hat, Miami on the back. Uh, I'm confused. Like maybe they pronounce it as Miami Marlins now. I'm just used to saying Florida, but this hat is always dirt. You can see the sweatbands. Uh, I got this to match with my uh, what's the name of my shoes? My Air Jordan 9 Fonte Montana uh shirt shoes, but I may try to find this hat again. Hopefully, if I can find it. Because this is so dingy. Like, that's another thing. You got to take good care of white hats or it's going to get dingy. You probably can see the difference. You can see this one's clean. I just borrowed this like a couple weeks ago. This has been here for years. This one, woo. Mind you, people always talk shit about me because I love snapbacks. Because I love to adjust the size. Sometimes I want to wear it big. Sometimes I want to wear it tight. I can adjust it. But with fitted, you can't do that. And everybody's obsessed with fitted now. So they make fun of me because I'm always wearing the snapbacks and everybody's in the fitted. But this is one, everybody wants this hat that I talk to, but they don't want to get it because it's a snapback. I don't give a hell. I'll be the only one with it. And this is what I meant when I was talking about this is the only undervisor that I like. When you can see the undervisor on the front, like it's overlapping the top, but all these ones that everybody's talking about now. You can't see it like, let me see this on this. Yeah, see this one? You can't see the undervisor unless I flip it up because it's overlapped to the bottom, not overlapped to the top. And this is the way I like it. And I, actually, the site I got this from, they been had this hat, but it was sold out. They end up restocking out of nowhere. I bought as quick as I could. And plus, snapbacks are cheaper. Like, snapbacks are like $30, $35. And these uh, <clears throat> hats, like the fitteds, the cheapest you'll find is like 42. That's the cheapest I've ever seen, unless they have a sale. But the good ones are like 45 to $50, if not more. And that's like a tough pill to swallow. But this shit is fucking beautiful. And I'm been, I'm still looking for hats like this, but they're so hard to find. And I'm about to take a trip. Thank God I live so close to New York, only an hour away. I found out they have actual hat stores up there just based on these hats I'm talking about right now. In, in the Bronx or whatever. <clears throat> There's a few of them too. And I've seen the videos of people going up there like this this channel called View from the Volts. And that's the hat club I actually end up joining. They go up there all the time. I don't know if they're based up there, but they go up there all the time. And like the hat stores are fucking beautiful. I just want to go up there now. Now, I want to thank uh, Manolo Prado for putting me onto this logo because he's obsessed with the uh, Houston Astros. Like their, their jersey and throwback. And he said this logo, they didn't actually use this logo. This is like an alternate logo that they were supposed to use back in the day or whatever. They never did. But I'm obsessed with this logo. I want, I won't say everyone, but I want a lot of these hats. I'll probably get doubles of these. This is the only one because I love this logo. So every time I see this, this logo and that it's made right, I'm going to get it. But I guess I'm not the only one because every time I see one, like a different color, it sells out. And this one, I can't believe I found it. Is a snapback. I don't even see the fit it says, and it has a side patch. This is what everybody's obsessed with these side patches. They don't have to be this exact one, but they're obsessed with these side patches. The great undervisor. I wore this one. I tried to wait for this video, but I couldn't wait. I wore this one as soon as it came in. Now, this is a fitted. 
Now, sometimes I get five eighths, but five eighths is kind of big. But I found somebody taught me a hack how to make it smaller. See, it fits, but it's just a little bit. I want a little bit snugger. So somebody uh, said, like, I forgot I watched the video again. You take these little things and you put them in a hat and it makes it tighter. And if the hat is like smaller and you want it wider, which I didn't know, this is going to make me get hats even more now. Hat Club, which another place people are obsessed with, has this 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 like machine mechanism thing that I call it. I think it's called a hat stretcher. You put it in a hat and you like crank it and it stretches the hat out. Now, I take that with a grain of salt because I'm not gonna say I wear a seven three fourths and try to get like a a size six five eighths, which is super duper small thing. That I'm gonna get that little machine that's gonna stretch it all the way to seven three fourths. I can read between the lines. Like if it's like a size of two too small and it's like super tight, like. It's fitting like this. It'll stretch it out to enough. It'll fit my head. I just got this one. I have another one, the Florida Marlins. This is the low one I'm used to, but where all the navy at is blue, and the brim is black. And I really don't like it. I just got it to match with my South Beach uh, eights, but it's too big anyway. So I'm, I gave it to my nephew. But I'm gonna go buy it again because I found, I found it, the the one I'm talking about, but. They have one that don't have the, uh, the I don't even know if that's a navy brim. It may be navy or black. I don't know, but they don't have that that brim. It has the same color top hat brim, but it's like uh, it's like a darker a darker tail. It looks way better. Plus the one I just I was just talking about it sold out anyway on that site, and this has a side patch and this is a fitted, and this was cheap. This was like uh, how much was it? I think it was like thirty five dollars. But it was a five eighths. I really wanted the three fourths, and this is why it's it's too big because this is how I judge it. If I want to wear it backwards, I'm not gonna want to wear it backwards now because because it's not snug enough. It's like too wide. I put my fingers in there, so I'm gonna do that hack they told me about. And this one has the the under visor everybody's obsessed with. It has the pink one, and I was getting this anyway because I want the uh the Griffies that just released that came out like a month or two ago. Which sold out, which bugged the fuck. I couldn't believe it sold out. But uh, I was going to get this regardless. But everyone I keep seeing, it has the black brim. This is the first time I've seen one with the navy, well, the teal brim. This one I just got, and it was on sale too. I got it from the same site I got this one from. I, actually, I got all three of these from the same site. And now they gave me a 15% off code. But this one popped up out of nowhere. So I didn't even wait. As soon as I seen it, I bought it. This is like a funky color. I love funky colors, and I love Vote. I know a lot of people don't like Vote, but I love Vote. And they have a side patch. I think they made this side patch. It says World Series Champions 2003. What size is this? This is a three-fourths. This is too big. It fits like a 5'8", which is crazy, man. Like That is another reason why I don't like fitteds, because their sizing is all over the goddamn place. Snapbacks is not. I hope this is a snapback. I really don't remember. No, this is a fucking fitted shit. Now, I got this one because I, got, I caught a sale, and plus it had a side patch. I like how the side patch look when you wear it. I love this logo. I'm a stickler for certain logos, but I wore this one, but I probably was pissed because I don't think it was tight enough. Yep, it's big. So, I may get the snapback. If I can find a snapback with, the, with a side patch on it, I'll get it. Now, this one, <clears throat> I got this when uh, Gareth sold Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle passed away. I got a Nipsey Hussle shirt that uh, of him when he had the, when he slapped the guy at the award show. He was performing. I got that shirt, and I had got some chucks, some blue chucks, and I had got this hat to match. Yeah, this hat is so dirty. I wore, I wore the hell out this hat. And this was before, I got this before the emergence of the, Soup. Everybody's obsessed with the side patches. I got this way before that. Plus, this was during when everybody was wearing, still wearing snapbacks. Excuse me. So this was like, the, I guess a semi side patch. I don't know. This is another one. It's a snapback. I, I may get rid of this because I want a side patch now. I'm sorry, I do. And I just found another one of these hats, but it's like, it's like vote and like this. It's green, but it's like a bright green it's like maybe almost a little bit darker than this and then it has a yellow on it like so that's all my hats i don't do I, have any, I don't think i have none coming 
No, nah, I don't have no coming. I'm about to order more. But I've been trying to, like, take it a little bit easy because I've been buying hats, like, too much. And, like, like I, this is when I realized it's becoming such a big thing. I went to, uh, I was getting most of my hats from out of the mall, not too far from here. And uh, Pro Image, like, I don't know what it is with us. Like, I don't know. We don't, they don't, like, giving us love or something. But where I live at, we like hats, too. We have hats, but it's like we get the bullshit hats. We get the generic hats. And Pro Image, I had no idea. They had, like, other locations in other locations and other cities. Hats are way better. Like, we just started getting some of these custom hats in the one down here, which is crazy. We should have been getting them. Then, on top of that, Lids. Lids are starting to do custom hats, which I didn't know. Lids down here don't get them custom hats. And they don't even get good NBA hats. They're all much and less, which pissed me off. So, they, uh, I found out they have uh, Lids stores called Locker Room, where they sell jerseys and all this other stuff. I'm like, since when? Because the lids, all the lids, it's like three lids down here. They don't have nothing but hats. You might find a little trinket or something, but you ain't find no jerseys and shirts and stuff. But all these other ones I'm seeing, like Atlanta and New York and all those places, they have all these, and they have great hats. And hot, the store is way bigger. Our stores are like the size of a closet. So I think it's kind of fucked up. I have to travel outside my means for anything. I use the pinwall hats, everything I tell you about, I had to travel to Philly to get any of this stuff, jerseys, all that type of stuff. Because down here, I live like 30, well, 25 minutes from, I live like 15 minutes away from Philly, but these spots I'm talking about is like 25, 30 minutes away from where I live at. So any stores that's close to me, that's like 10 minutes away, they don't sell any of this stuff. They got all like the generic stuff, but like take it, take it kind of how you would say rappers, right? Rappers, you have your generic rappers, you have your like super popular rappers that everybody know about, and then you have your underground rappers. You have to really be into like music deep to know about these rappers. Back then, you had to buy mixtapes, like bootleg CDs to even hear these rappers, and that means you have to go like to like the little mom and pop spots to get all that stuff. But like somebody like a Jay Z or like a Fabulous, people that people everybody know, you can find that anywhere. You can get that from a, a regular. Like back then it was FYE or The Wall or Sam Goody and these music stores, you can find all that stuff, but you're not going to find these underground rappers or these rappers that a lot of people don't know about. You have to go to the mom and pop store to get them because the big chain stores don't even know who they is and they don't sell that type of stuff, right? So same thing with hats. These custom hats, I have, thank God for the internet, I have to order them because these stores around me don't sell them. They just sell the generic hats like these or like the the ones that they wear in the actual game. But these custom hats, they don't sell. Them. And if they do, it's like a custom hat that they sell everywhere. I have to go to the mom and pop spots. Like like I just told you, I gotta go all the way to New York. And I don't even think Philly have a lot of these stores, but I have to go out my means to get all these stuff. And I'm be honest, I think it's kind of fucked up, but it is what it is, what are you gonna do? So. These are just videos, I promise. I don't know what the next video will be. I talked as much as I could. I put everything in one video so I don't have to make multiples. You already know what it is.